Good morning, everybody. Dan here from Sherp ET. Um, took off this Friday here because I'm getting up, set up for a couple of events that I have planned. Uh, one is at McMiller Sports Center. Um, it's a woman shooting day. Uh, sounds pretty exciting, actually. That is located in Eagle, Wisconsin, uh, McMiller Sports Center. Uh, so what we're going to do there is just probably give people rides to the various stations that exist. Uh, they have a lot of different things going on, man. They can shoot rifles anywhere from 25 yards, actually up to 300 yards. Uh, there's trap shooting, skeet shooting. I don't know if they have five stand or not, but there's quite a different things there that they can do. Uh, they also have an archery range, both for a traditional bow and then a crossbow. Two different ranges. Not sure why they do that, but that's the way they do it. Uh, we'll see what that event's like. And then the second one that we're going to do is we're going to go to uh, Buddy's house. And uh, we are going to go and bust down cattails for shooting lanes for deer hunting this, this upcoming year. This is the third time I think I've done this particular property. Uh, it'll be uh, pretty cool. There's also a pond there. I'm sure we're going to be popping into that. Unfortunately, uh, I wounded myself on the jet ski and uh, kind of wasn't going very fast. It was a stupid thing, probably going 10, 15 miles an hour, and I was just going back and forth like this and basically just jumped off because everything wasn't going smooth and I thought it was going to be an easy water landing. But unfortunately, when I did so, my right leg did the splits and it hurt like the dickens. Um, so I'm kind of going through a healing phase. So what I got to do today is, if you remember, is those universal joints that are in the middle of the Sherp, I'm just making sure that those bolts are still tight, uh, just so there's no issues. Um, so I got to take everything apart, which is normally not an issue whatsoever. Uh, but with this wound that I have right now and the limited space to sit and work inside of the Sherp to be able to see that, it is going to be a pain in the rumpus, but we'll get that done. So sorry for the long-winded, uh, I guess, uh, description of the whole thing that we're doing right now. Um, but I am looking forward to these next couple of events. I hope they are a lot of fun. Here's some quick footage from what we did last year when we were going through the cattails. Notice those cattails are almost up to the top of the Sherp. It really flattens those down. There's a lot more water we just received, so it's going to be interesting to see what's going to happen inside of that marsh. So, will you believe it at that? Um, and kind of go from there. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. We'll be talking to you soon and giving you a lot more data.